So this question says the number of bacteria in a liquid medium doubles every day. Okay, important to know. There are 44,000 bacteria in the liquid medium at the start of an observation. Okay, so that means the next day it'll be 88,000, the next day 88,000 times two, and then times two, like each day it doubles based, based upon what we've read so far. Which represents the number of bacteria Y in the liquid medium T days after the start of the observation? Well, we know at T equals zero days, right, at the very start, there should be 44,000 bacteria. And we know because it doubles every day, so at t equals, t equals one day, it should be double 44,000, which the math is pretty simple for. It would just be 88,000. I'm going to use this knowledge to solve the question. So for instance, for choice A, if t were zero, that would make this whole thing equal to one. One half time one is not 44,000. So that's gone. If t were equal to zero here, this whole thing would be one. Two times one is two, so that's gone, right? We want 44,000 to be the answer when t equals zero. If t were to equal zero here, one half to the zero, that's one. 44,000 times one, so that does equal 44,000, so that's, that's good. Let's see if there's any others. And then this would also, right, if t were zero, that would be one. And this would also equal 44,000. So between these two, let me erase this. We know that C and D work out well for us. Well, how about how about when T equals 1? All right, so when T equals 1, we expect 88,000. So here, if T were 1, 1 half to the 1 power is 1 half. 1 half times 44,000 is equal to 22,000. But we wanted it to equal 88,000, so that's why C is gone. And we can already see here for choice D that that's exactly what we'll get, right? If this is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times 44,000 is, in fact, 88,000. So choice D is the correct answer here.